Hello everyone and welcome back to Simply Psychological. Today we are going to discuss the second stage of cognitive development given by Jean Piaget which is pre-operational stage. So by the age of one and a half to two years, child began to use language like words and symbols used for representing things or group of things. And one object can represent or symbolize the other. For example, in a play, a three-year-old may treat a stick as a horse or a wooden cube as a car. Or if there are two dolls, she is going to consider one as a mother and the other as a baby. Although three and four years old can think in symbolic terms, but their words and images are not yet organized or are very logical. Like Piaget called this stage pre-operational, which is from two to seven years. Because a child does not comprehend certain rules or operations. Piaget gave the definition of operation as it's a mental routine for shifting information and it is reversible. And every operation has its logical opposite. Like if we cut a circle into four equal pie shaped and if we are going to put them together it's going to make a whole circle again similarly if, if we take the square of three it's going to be nine and if we are going to take square root of nine it's going to be three which shows that these concepts are weak in child in this stage their abstract thinking is weak so they can't comprehend these sort of rules reversible rules and etc piaget illustrate this deficit by some experiments on de the development of what he calls as conservation like as adult we totally ignore or take this rule as for granted which is a law of conservation but for a child this matters a lot like if you take two equal clay balls and you illustrate the child that they are equal and then in front of the child you roll the one into a sausage shape while the other remains the same and in front of the child the child has saw you that you haven't added or subtracted any clay from that sausage object and when you are going to ask the child either which one has more clay the child is going to say that the longer one contains more clay so until the age of seven majority of the children reach this stage where they get to know they perceive them as equal and the clay will either it has a longer shape or it's it has a circular shape doesn't matter to them anymore Another experiment was done, uh, which was conservation of weight, in which a child was given one was a circular ball and the other was a sausage one and was asked either which one is heavier. The same kind of study can be used to uh, learn about the conservation of weight. Like for example, we put a ball and a sausage in a scale. And before that, we ask the child either which one is going to be heavy. So uh, conservation of weight is more difficult for a child to understand as compared to conservation of mass. So another reason, the child younger than seven have difficulty in understanding the concept of conservation of mass is that his thinking is still dominated by visual impressions. A change in appearance of clay mass means more to them than less obvious qualities such as weight. Another experiment was done in which the visual impressions were seen and checked and in that uh, experiment there, there was a row of black checkers matched one by one against the red checkers and the five to six year old was asked either they are same or not. And he said they are same. And when the black checkers were brought closer and, and were given a, a form of cluster. And then the boy was asked 
either they are equal now or not he said the black the row ones the red checkers are more as compared to the black one till the age of 7 when he gets to know and he assume that no matter what shape they get into they are same because and uh, in 7 year old the child assumes that if number of objects was equal before they are going to remain equal because at this age numerical equality is more significant than visual impressions